Whoa. Very nice. It's very cool, Bateman, but that's nothing. What do you think? Nice. Let's see Paul Allen's. Oh my God. That was the best YouTube intro you've ever seen in your life, wasn't it? Today's topic, slave... I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Calm down. Today's topic is about neon a lot of people's prayers have been answered because as of yesterday neon has been banned now he's been banned before but there's still no words on how long this ban is going to be there's still no statements from uh, both kick and neon itself so my guess it's permanent because i have an idea of what kick is going to go uh, through next because they a lot of all these streamers on kick they have been taking advantage of the situation of a freedom of speech and they are doing all sorts of illegal shit. I don't think I need to show you. You probably know what's happening. But if you're watching this and you are a Neon fan, for anyone growing up, if you pay attention, if anyone growing up and they, they're like, I want to be like Neon when I grow up. May God be with you. May God guide you in the un neon path. Because not only you'll be the most unlike person in the world, also you will get the same mentality as Neon has, which is not thinking before they speak. Now, if you're young and you watch Neon and you say, I want to be like him, there's a high chance that you're, you say this because you see a lot of hot girls around them. But my friend, there's other ways to get girls, okay? So ca calm yourself, calm down. Now in the one year of Neon having his fame, he's not only made us cringe so hard, he has also made us disappointed in the streaming community. If you don't know who Neon is or you don't know exactly how he is, I'll give you a very quick recap. Neon, he, he started a YouTube five, six years ago. He died like five, six times, but then he came back to life, resurrected five, six times again. He has tried everything in his power to capture clips to go viral by faking his whole, whole personality, but none of it was successful. So he decided to start hanging out with huge streamers like Aiden Ross. He went on a couple of streams. Aiden saw potential in him. You, you bitch, Blair and house arrest, you pussy, you yeah. fucking loser. You and your dirty ass brother, fuck him too, dumb <laughs> Look at you just sitting there, you bald refugee. He made a way for him to be successful and when Aiden needed him or wanted to speak to him, Neon was too drunk with power, he spat on Aiden's face. Neon, you gotta humble yourself bro, I made your entire career, you're where you are because of me, and Neon, I know about your deal dropping bro, humble yourself bro, I'm not giving you that event, I found it, thank you, W Citrus, I'm not giving you that event bro, I know you need that event to save that kick deal, I'm not giving you it bro. You, I'm not, that's all I'm gonna say, bro. Humble yourself, bro. Humble yourself. You're not me. He got a deal from Kick and he's been live streaming almost every single day, hanging out with OF girls and hanging out with um, degenerate other streamers like Jack the Horty. But what stopped him from getting more and more popular is when he took advice from FuzzyTube. You take advice from FuzzyTube, kiss your career a goodbye because that is it. But two days ago, he went live and with one interaction, his whole career has changed. And it does not look good. This is like the limit that he passed. This is the boundary that was there. And he just like fucking uh, Kung Fu kicked it. Now, I'm still new to YouTube. I don't want to upset YouTube. So in this clip, he's going to be talking to a 10-year-old boy. I'm just not going to show him. So please, YouTube, please don't ban me. Thank you. Fuck. I tried to be nice to you, bro. Shut the, the fuck up. I'll beat the shit out of you and your fat girlfriend, bro. What the fuck? That fat s I'll smack her in her face too, bitch. And I'll got him about to dox your entire family. What's your name? You're not doing shit. Shut the f up. Suck my dick, bro. You a bitch. What's your name? 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 What's your first name? What's your name? All I need is your first name. I don't care. I'm an internet warrior. What's your name? What's your, what's your, what's your, what's your first name, bitch? What's your first name, bitch? Tell me your first name. I'll give you my name. I don't give a f you're 10 years old. I will f you in the ass and please bleed. I swear to God. Shut the fuck up. I wonder where this 10 year old learned to behave like this. It's, it truly is a mystery. I don't know who screen recorded this clip, but my friend, you need a new phone. And if you did not understand what he was saying first, he said he's going to dox him. That was the first big thing. Keep in mind, he is 10 years old and this guy is twice his age. Second thing he said is, I will take my cucumba and I will show you some magic tricks. That's it. This is when you cross the line. Now, I get it. Today's seven, eight, nine, ten-year-olds are extremely, like, savage. They 
ugh, bro, they're on the internet too long and they learn new words. Bro, when I was that age, I didn't even know what these bad words were. But what most of you don't know, when I was Neon's age, I was I used to host birthday parties for kids, seven, eight, nine, ten year olds. I used to work at the trampling park bounce. I used to work at the other places. Host birthday parties, happy birthday to you. Fake the whole thing, I am so happy, but I was miserable. And I encountered with a lot of kids like this. But the quickest way, if you ever encounter someone like this, is you don't tell them stuff, you know? I used to take them, take them, come, I will show you a trick on the trampoline. They were like, hey, hey, talk. Or there's like a whole beanbag, you know, where you jump in the, you know, there's like a soft uh, beanbags. What I used to do is like, come, come, I will show you a magic trick. We used to jump, jump, jump. I was like, what did you say to me? They was like, you, they, they were going to repeat it. I threw them all the way. They land with their head, neck, whatever. Then I'm like, oops. And if you ever encounter them on the internet, you make them cry by roasting them. You don't go like, I will show magic tricks with my kukumba to you. This is, this is not the way. This is definitely not the way. You tell them you're their real father. The real father didn't love them. After the second they saw them, they were like, ew, who's this kid? They left them, they went for milk, and they never came back. You get creative with your roast, and that is it. You'll be good to go. You have to be very discreet when dealing with these things. And after that, Neon has, after he ended his stream, he has got banned, and the news were everywhere. Honestly, I'm trying to pretend that I care that either he goes uphill, downhill. I don't care. There has been a lot of updates also. I made a couple of videos about Neon before. There has been a lot of updates with his situation. We said that Neon and Sam, they broke up. You know, they made a whole video about it, and then they came back, they were like, we've been keeping this a secret. So they haven't broke up, this whole thing was for clip, why am I surprised? Bro died five times and then came back to life only for clips, and who do I believe needs to be next? Jack Doherty. There has been a lot of updates with Jack Doherty as well, Neon, all these guys, but I just didn't want to bother you with it. You know, if you feel like you're having a peaceful day... And then if I talk, start talking about Neon and Jack Doherty, I'm just going to ruin it, you know? So my, I just didn't want to talk about it. And then kick the same day he, they came and they posted this. Content sensitive warning, flat joint sensitive content. We do not condone any such content and behavior and encourage our creators to do better. We apologize for the distress, distress this may have caused. Then you click on it. It's a whole picture. They have bamboozled us. Kick is being too funny now. But like I said, there's still no statements from each side that if Neon is going to get unbanned or not. But from the looks of it, he is not. But I won't be surprised if he comes back on. If you've been sticking around until now, like the video. If you're too cool to subscribe, just like the video for now. But yeah, that was it for today's video. Take care of yourself and I will see you at the next one.